Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss the latest financial news and trends. Before we begin, please remember that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Now, let's dive into today's topic, the alarming rise in global debt. According to the Institute of International Finance, global debt levels have reached a staggering $305 trillion, with an increase of $8.3 trillion in just the first quarter of 2023. This puts us close to the record high set in the first quarter of 2022. To put it in perspective, this means that global debt is nearly 335% of GDP. Rising debt poses a significant burden on economic growth. As governments resort to inflationary policies to address their massive indebtedness, we see the consequences, higher taxes, weaker productivity, and declining real wages. Public debt, unlike private debt used for productive investments, doesn't generate economic returns but rather crowds out investment and credit. The impact of public debt goes beyond the public sector. It affects families and businesses, leading to lower growth, hindered job creation, and reduced investment opportunities. Ultimately, we all pay for public debt through higher taxes, inflation, or budget cuts. The current situation has created a perverse incentive mechanism in global markets. Many investors expect central banks to implement quantitative easing to address rising public imbalances. While this may temporarily benefit equity and bond valuations, it is a dangerous bet. Market participants who rely on public debt and quantitative easing are essentially betting on a scenario that has not materialized low inflation, decent growth, and equity multiple expansion. Unfortunately, the consequences of soaring debt are dire. We face the risk of stagflation, a prolonged period of stagnant economic growth coupled with high inflation. Stagflation does not bode well for multiple expansion or equity markets, making public fixed income a risky asset for investors in this era of inflationism. Amidst these challenges, it's essential to consider alternative safe haven assets. While traditional investments may be vulnerable, gold remains a decorrelated and relatively safe asset in an environment where currency destruction seems likely. Lastly, it's important to differentiate between cryptocurrencies and non-profitable tech assets. Bitcoin and crypto assets have shown a high correlation with the tech industry, making them less reliable in times of economic uncertainty. In conclusion, as governments continue deficit spending and inflationist policies, we can expect a further acceleration of debt accumulation. This scenario may lead to a prolonged period of stagflation, which is detrimental to fixed income and equity markets. Investors need to be cautious and consider the potential consequences of such policies. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this information insightful. Remember to follow our channel for more updates on global finance and market trends. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and invest wisely.